Hi, I'm Lauren from LSP Actions and welcome to the video tutorial for the LSP Christmas Mini Magic Lightroom and ACR presets. These presets will work best in new versions of Lightroom, such as Lightroom Creative Cloud Classic, Lightroom CC, Lightroom Mobile and ACR. So for best results, please use with Photoshop Creative Cloud subscription. After downloading from the LSP Actions website, you will have your LSP Christmas Mini Magic Lightroom and ACR presets. You're also going to want to download the LSP Christmas Glow Brush. This is a one individual brush that I've included as a bonus. You'll also have your other downloads from this moment. So you need to download the LSP Christmas Mini Magic Lightroom ACR presets and the LSP Christmas Glow Brush LR template. This is a brush. So let's focus first on getting the, um, the presets in. I'm on Lightroom Classic. So come over to your Develop panel and here on the side where it says presets there's a little plus icon here you can hit import presets locate the zipped file you shouldn't need to extract or unzip this file you can just hit the zip and import if for some reason it's not showing you it wants you to unzip you can use archive utility on mac or you can right click and use extract all on windows but that means you're going to need to go in and import all the presets individually and it will appear under your user presets section which is just fine any problems with importing presets, please go on the um, Adobe website because they'll show you um, exactly how to do this for your version of Lightroom. So I'm going to go ahead and hit import. It's just importing the presets in and they have appeared over the side. I've got no image selected at the moment, so I'm just going to go ahead and select an image. Beautiful shot here by Libby Edwards Photography. All the LSP presets and actions are user tested on other photographers' images as well as my own just to make sure they're going to work for everybody. This is a PSD file, not a raw file, so you might notice if you open a JPEG, a PSD, anything that's not raw, some of the presets are greyed out. They will work, they'll work just fine, it just means that some of the raw um, settings are not going to work because it's not a raw file, but you can still click on these and use them. So I'm going to go into library, let's choose um, a raw image to work on to start with. Uh, how about this beautiful shot here by um, Henrietta Gomez Photography? Beautiful. So here's how they work. You have lots of different um, areas here on the side when you're editing in Lightroom. If you're familiar with editing in Lightroom, you'll know that you can slide these sliders um, to make changes to your image. These presets work on individual sections of your develop panel. And the great thing about these is, is you can use these for a full edit if you only use Lightroom. You can use them part and parcel with your own tweaking. Uh, which I do recommend because no preset is going to be a one size fits all for everybody's image. These will just give you a base, um, a starting point to work on. And you can also um, develop and copy and sync these settings to all the other images in the gallery. So giving them a quick batch before you go over into Photoshop if you wanted to. So let's go and take a look at the LSP Christmas Mini Magic Lightroom and ACR presets. It says here a couple of little notices. If they're grayed, it means some features are for raw images only. Set your white balance manually first. The presets will not go with the white balance at all, so please um, do set your white balance manually if you need to. And then we get here into the Christmas Mini Magic presets. Section one is the beautiful bases. And what I've done, I've popped here which areas in your develop panel here that they work on, so you can go and make changes easily and quickly if you need to. These work on the basic and lens correction area. This is your basic area here. And you also have lens correction. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to um, reset this down to basic, down to out of camera so we can begin. So what you can do with the preset, the great thing you can do is you can hover over them and see what they're going to look like on your image. So you can see I'm just hovering here. Deep and crisp and even looks really nice on this one. Pine cones, silent night, you may find uh, one preset suits all of your images, or you might find you need different ones depending on different setups. Ho ho hello histogram, it would be great if the image was underexposed, for example. Calm evening is nice, teddy bear balancer, coincidence, there's a teddy bear in the image there. Santa lifter, swing song, mighty brighty if your image is underexposed, it's a great one. Burlap balance. And then you can reset. So for example, say we clicked on this one and thought, mm, no, it's not the great one you can undo, or you can just hit reset and it'll only reset that particular section. 
So let's take a look. You can see the image is warping a bit as well because it's applying some lens correction, which is good. So I'm going to click on that one there, that's Teddy Bear Balancer, and you can see that has changed the develop panel here. And you can at any point, you can come in and you can go, well, actually, I'm just going to, you know, tweak this down just a little bit to suit. Now we're into the toner tweakers. This is the colour grading section here into colour grading. You can um, drop down any of these if you want to. You see they can be all closed, they could be all open. If you only use ACR and you want to hang on for the ACR version, I will do a quick run through of that as well. Um, and that also goes for Lightroom. Um, if your Lightroom looks different to this one, um, it will be more on the ACR side of the tutorial. So this is in the colour grading section here that we're into now, toner tweakers. So you can hover over these warm snuggle, toasted marshmallow, chill breeze, icy blast, gelatin gradient, tree decor. So you can go over these and you can decide if you want to use one on your image. I've just clicked warm snuggle there. And now we're into the sumptuous save shading section. This is curves. So you can open up the curve. You don't, I mean, you don't have to. You can literally just click these if you want to. You can reset each section very very um, user friendly. Some sumptuous shading we have star bright, really loads, calm bump, little lifter, clickety, deeply simple, Christmas movie, decontrast balancer and reset. And that will only reset the curve section that you're adding in. So let's go through these and see if we need one. The calm bump is really nice actually, it adds that calmness so you can see there before and after and you, you can also go in and tweak this a little bit if you need to. Now we're into the Colorama section. This is the Hues, um, Saturation and Luminance, the HSL section. So we can click, hover over these, don't even have to click them, and see if there's any of these that you'd like to go over your image. And if you wanted to reset, you can reset if needed by clicking on Color Reset, Reset HSL here. But let's go with Pretty Perfect. And again, you can open up the HSL and you can just, you know, you can tweak these if you need to. So now we're down into the Magic section. This is the masking and effects for your image. So we have Magic Make the Background Darker, which will literally only affect the dark ground, um, the background. Magic Background Boost. These are for the newer versions of um, Adobe. So if you've updated, you can use these. If not, they may be um, greyed out. Sweet subject is really nice. It will, um, you know, really brighten up your subject and nothing else. Perfect Christmas skin will give that lovely Christmas boost to the skin. Let's zoom in and show you there. So we zoom in here and we're going to click perfect Christmas skin. And you see that's going to add this lovely soft glow to the skin. Sharp where it matters is really nice as well um, because it will sharpen up certain areas. For example, the eyes, the lips, and the hairline. Because these are using advanced masking AI techniques for these particular magic sections, it may take a little second to apply. You also have magic calm the left. So if you, for example, your lighting is here and it's shining in a little bit too bright, and calm the right as well, if your lighting is shining in too bright there, you can just calm down these sections. You see there, hovering over. You have the vignettes, which darkens the edges, number one and number two, which you can hover over and add if you wanted to. And we also have a black and white Christmas card version. If you're going to make a black and white, I recommend um, right-clicking your image and create a virtual copy. So you can, um, you know, have one in colour and then one in black and white. So we can click black and white Christmas card. This will be uh, it's a bit of a standalone, a bit of a rogue one here. You will need to come up into the... Sorry, click that. You will need to come up into the basic section. And you can see here we're on a black and white profile. And you can also, you know, you can change any of this if needed. Working on a duplicate copy there. So you have one with your normal settings and one with a black and white. And then right at the end here, you have reset all editing, which is going back to normal if you need to. And a little Merry Christmas from me and a copyright notice. So one of the cool things is, is once you've found your perfect blend of presets, you've had a little tweak around if needed, you can actually copy um, the editing to other images in the series. So for example, all these images here by Henrietta, the same section, I can hold down shift and select them all. And then we can hit the sync. I'm back on the library now, by the way. We can hit the sync settings. 
If you want to, you can sink crop. I wouldn't really sink the healing brush because that's going to add the brush to the, you know, the same area that it thinks. It's not going to, say, for example, you heal the nose on the zoomed in one. It's going to heal that area on the zoomed out one, which might be a Christmas tree or something. So check all the boxes. Not crop or healing, I wouldn't, but everything else you can click in. Masking for face masks, you can or you can't. It's up to you if you want to add um, any of the magic sections to them. And hit synchronize. And what that's going to do, it's going to sync the exact same settings across to the other images, which means you don't have to go through every single image um, syncing those same settings across. You can just do one select them all which is really recommended if you've got them all from the same kind of setup and you'll see there now we have the same settings applied so for example this one here is just loading if i was to go into presets and the christmas magic let's just do a reset we'll see where we were before here reset all editing and that's the straight out of camera i'm just going to undo that and this is a preset that was applied across. And again, you can come in and you can tweak or change, you know, if you want to for individual images. In a moment, I'm going to show you how to use these in ACR. But first, let me show you um, really, really quickly how you would get these into Photoshop. You would just right click the image or you could select all the images. You know, I recommend no more than five at a time. But if your computer's fast, you could be brave and go for 10 at a time. Right click edit in and you can choose whoop, edit in and you can choose Adobe Photoshop I'm on Adobe Photoshop 2024 because that's the time of recording this um, it will be whichever version you are updated to if you're using um, an old version of Photoshop you should still have this option come up but I do recommend using if you if, as long as you're using the newest versions of Photoshop from the Creative Cloud you can update when you're on Creative Cloud and it just means you're always going to have the latest settings. If you hit edit in Adobe Photoshop, what this is going to do is give you an option to edit the original or edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments. And now you can see these images have opened up into Lightroom, um, into Photoshop from Lightroom. Here I have the Christmas magic Photoshop actions open. So at this point you can make your, uh, your editing in uh, Photoshop. And then when you save the image, for example, I mean, you can, you can watch the, um, you can watch the tutorials for these actions on the other videos. This is the Lightroom video, but I just wanted to show you quickly about if we make some, uh, we make some changes here in Photoshop, for example, play the light up brush. Let's just add a little bit of that one on. Um, let's gonna add some darkness brush here. So for example, you know, we've made some changes. You can hit file, save, or control command S, and that's gonna save a copy back to Lightroom. So let's just open up Lightroom and you're going to see this copy um, pop in here. You see there, this copy number one of two, so your Photoshop edit has come in. So you have the original here with the Lightroom editing and a copy with Photoshop. It's just a really great way to categorize, um, categorize your images, keep them all together and know what you've edited. Normally with a Photoshop edit, only we'll go add a color label and stick a label on there. So I know that that's the Photoshop one. So let's go, before we go into adding the presets into ACR, let's go into how you can add the glow brush in. And that's covered in the next tutorial video. I've split the videos up, so please do go ahead and watch the next tutorial after this one. You can see all the videos for this complete set over on the LSP Actions website at lsp-actions.com under the video tutorial library. See you there.